I'm Scotty Harris, lead operator for Spline Board Department. I'm going to give you an overview of the area, show you some of the hazards you'll be coming in contact with in this department. Then we'll go into each cell and give you a more up close view of things that you're going to have to look out for and some of the hazards. Point them out to you so you'll have some sort of knowledge of uh, what you're getting into before you start work. One of the hazards you're going to come in contact with within the spline board department is metal chips and stringers. They'll be both inside your machine and going into the chip hopper. You want to make sure that you never grab them with your hand, even if you have on gloves, because they will cut through the gloves and they are very hot. They will burn you. Use pliers or a hook to pull them loose. All right, this right here is what is our main shaft gear cell. Uh, when you're running in the main shaft gear cells, you'll have a turning machine, shaper, hog, shave, and then a washing process. Uh, when you're in this area, you come in contact with uh, washer fluid, uh, coolant, and oil. You got uh, shaper cutters, turning chips. You got hobbing chips. We dry hob, so it's, it's very hot. And we have shavers, and that will be the consistent of a main shaft gear cell. This is another commodity we run in the spline board department. It's called a reduction gear. In the reduction gear cell, we have the turning machine and a shaper. We have a cross process, a hob, and a shaver. Once it comes out of the shaver, it goes into the uh, washer, and then it's ready for the next operation. So it goes on the heat treat rack, and it goes to heat treat. And this area will come in contact with uh, turning chips, hobbing chips, shaver chips and cross chips, which you require to wear gloves on each one of these operations. One of the concerns that is all out throughout the plant is oil or coolants on the floor causing a slip hazard. Right here we've had a, somebody leave the valve open and let the coolant run over into the floor. And so it's making the floor real slick, so we have to come in immediately, get everybody to clean the floor and get up the slip hazard. And we put out these wet signs so people are aware that there's something on the floor. This is Scotty Watkins and Lewis Messick. They're the operators in the cell where we had the coolant run over into the floor. And they're going to speak to what caused the coolant to go into the floor, uh, some of the hazards of having coolants and oils on the floor, and about the cleanup of it. Lewis, can you tell us what caused the fluid on the floor? I turn my washer on. Got about it. That's one of the things that happens, you know, you turn on your oil or your coolant or your washer and you get busy doing something else and just forget it's on. But, uh, what's one of the hazards of having the coolant or oils on the floor? Slip hazard, the biggest hazard. Slip hazard. It's real important with these floors that, and throughout the building that we have something on the floor, we jump in and get it up as soon as possible and we mark the area off so people don't accidentally slip on it. Appreciate y'all sharing this with me. Alright, alright. Thank, Thank you. This is the Sock Star Ferris, she's a member of the management staff here at King Mountain. One of her areas that she's over is the Spline Board Department, and she's going to share a little that was discovered during the spill we had this morning. Well, thank you very much, Scotty. Um, one of the things that we, I want to highlight is whenever we have a incident, whether it's a spill or any safety concern, you have immediate participation from other members in the area because of concern and also the willingness to help. So when we have the spill, different people from different areas, not just reduction gear, but also main drive gear and viral tech, different members came in to actually help clean up with the spill. Um, that's one piece of it, but also from an individual, when you come in every day, we want to make sure that you're paying attention to any safety hazard that you have in your area. Um, it's important that a lot of times when you come in, you're looking straight at the area where you're working, your turning machine, you know, your hob, but you need to look overall in your area. You need to look up, you need to look down, you need to walk around your cell to see if there's any other hazards that um, we can actually correct or fix. Um, one of the things that we found as we were cleaning up the spill was uh, one of the operators identified some wiring that goes to an electrical panel. 
and with that there's a plastic co um, covering around that electrical wire and that has been caught in a pinch point with the hoist and so you have a breakage of that plastic cover but yet the coil is not broken into so these are the types of things that we want to make sure that we pay attention to each and every day as you come in you need to submit stop observations when you see these put in a maintenance work order to ensure that we are addressing the issues as soon as possible. Um, but you wouldn't have caught this if we hadn't looked down, right? So you got to look in every area to identify any potential risk. Another commodity we run in the flying board department is what we refer to as the main drive gear. Uh, in the main drive area, you're going to be coming in contact with turning, shaping, hobbing, shaving, and a washer. So that will bring into contact that you're going to have turning chips, hobbing chips, shaping chips, shaver chips, your coolants involved will be uh, oil and washing soap. One of our processes that we do to our main shaft gear is our hard turn process. It's after heat treat. Uh, the parts that come in, they'll go into a deeper, then they'll go into a hard turn machine, and then they're ready for the finished product. This is our ox drive hard turn area. Much like the main shaft here, you have a deburr, a turning process, and then a finished product. Uh, you're going to come in contact with the deburr with sharp, hot sparks. That's why you got to make sure before you start the machine that you close the door. Another part of the production gear process is the hard turn area after heat treat. In this process, you'll have the deburr and the turning machine where you come in contact with the deburr chips and the turning chips. Another part of this process is the weight. I have here the operator who runs this job, Mike Roseberry. Uh, Mike, how much do these parts weigh? Well, they're around 23 pounds. 23 pounds a piece, average. Uh, how many times do you have to pick the parts up? It's six times per side, so 12, 12 times per two parts for each side. So you have to pick them up 12 times, they weigh 23 pounds a piece, and runs an average of 240 per shift, so weight would be a factor on this job right here. This is Scott Cole, he's the day shift coach for the Spline Board Department. Uh, Scott, is there something that you can share with us about any safety concerns in the area? Uh, the one thing that I would like to point out uh, for safety concerns is anytime a new employee comes to our department, or any department in the plant, I think they should make sure that they have identified all the uh, pinch points and areas in the department that they could uh, get hurt. What we see many times is we have a lot of hand injuries and lacerations to the hand, and that becomes by the operator not being familiar with where he's putting his hand. Where an experienced operator knows where to put his hand and what to grab and what not to grab, uh, inexperienced operator, or operator that's new to the area, he may stick his hand somewhere not realizing that he could get cut or injured. So I would just like to point out to any new uh, employees coming to the area, be sure you can identify any uh, issues in the uh, department. Ask the operators who are working there for any uh, ideas on things that you might get cut on, sharp edges, points, uh, any kind of thing that might hit you or scrape your arm or something that you don't, wouldn't normally think about. And I think that would cover a lot of the hand type injuries that we have. That's good advice. Thanks, Scott. Hi, my name is Travis Odom. I'm the frontline leader for the smooth and spline board teams on the afternoon shift. Here we have the spline board team with us. In regards to, to safety uh, and, and sustaining a zero incident culture, one of the most important aspects of on the job safety is wearing PPE. That's steel toes, earplugs, and safety glasses. I think the most important aspect of safety is prevention. Um, detection leaves us up open for risk and prevention instills safety in each and every process that we operate. So who's responsible for safety? We are!